Welcome back everyone, I'm James Ataga, and today we have something a little different than usual to take a look at. This is the Star Wars Forces of Destiny Ahsoka Tano adventure figure from Hasbro. Uh, this is one of the newer figures that have been released in the Forces of Destiny line. And usually I do reviews on uh, Black Series figures, the and then the uh, regular 3, 7, 5 inch figures you know vehicles and other things of that nature but also uh, being a parent of four small children I know that there are other parents out there who might want to be looking at something to get their kid in the Star Wars give them something a little different uh, than your typical uh, toy to play with or doll if it's a, a girl um, my little girl loves these figures and I'm also um, pretty keen on them as well I've actually been collecting them since uh, they first started coming out and Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters, especially from the prequel era. So I wanted to get this while it was in stock on the Hasbro Toy Shop uh, to take some pictures of it for my photo gallery and also to do a review of it on here. So um, first off, you know, we'll start with the packaging of it. It's packaged just like any standard um, uh, Forces of Destiny figure in this jewel case. I've already opened it to take pictures of it, so I'll have an easier time getting it out. The back of it just has a very brief summation of Ahsoka. And then it comes with her two lightsabers, um, herself of course, and then a Loth Cat figure. Um, I know the Loth Cat was something that um, was played into whenever she was on Lothal in the Rebel series, but she was quite a bit older. So this is more of something uh, that she would have been an as apparent appearance-wise while she was a, a Padawan of Anakin in the Clone Wars. So I'll go ahead and take it out here. These measure in at just under a foot. I believe the official height on this is 11 inches. Um, now the other figures, uh, like the Luke that comes with Yoda, I believe he's a, a foot, and then Chewie's a little over a foot tall, so they try to scale them somewhat. And Ahsoka's uh, always been a short character. So she comes in at just under a foot tall at 11 inches. So accessory wise, we have the Loath Cat, which I'll go ahead and show you here. It looks just like they do in Rebels really. It's purple with some banding around it. And then the pretty sweet face. Doesn't really serve a whole lot of a purpose, but you know, they threw it in there, so that's fine. I don't really associate her with those since they're on Lothal and, and then that's something that's mainly from the Rebel appearances, but that's just fine. Uh, her lightsabers are her green ones. You've got the longer one and the short one here to accommodate the fighting style that she adopted in the Clone Wars series. Uh, these do actually have removable blades so that you can just have the hilts. And then the hilts are attachable to her belt. So I thought that was a nice feature, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. And then we come to the figure itself. Now, it does have what I've seen a lot of people call a too sweet face. I mean, these are, they, you do find them in the Barbie section at Walmart. So while they're not technically Barbies and Disney doesn't consider them dolls, they, they consider them adventure figures, they are ultimately in that same category. So you know she's not going to have an angry face or a mean face none of them really do um, they all kind of have just you know a, some are sweeter than others of course I guess if if you wanted to call it that but hers is just kind of middle of the road so she's got her Leku here like she does in the series 2 here and then the one on the back and since she's fairly young in this particular um, sculpt she they're shorter than they are in the Rebel series um, this here is her uh, jewelry that she wears on her head. It's not removable, but it is a separate piece. Um, all of this is removable. It will come off. So something to bear in mind, they recommend the, the age on this. Um, I believe, I'll check the box, I think it's four and up. So this is not something you'd really want to give to a very small child because these pieces just like on Sabine and, and in some of the others, like her armor comes off, these pieces, they do come off. And then the part on her upper arm does too. And then of course the same for the other side. Her belt um, comes off, it snaps in the back. 
Her boots are also removable. I'm not really sure why you'd want to, but they're actually slit all the way down the middle. Now they stay on just fine, but you know, a kid could pretty easily pull, pull them off, as you see there. Um, her belt here, just like the one that she wore in the, had in the Clone Wars, and if you'll notice, it has these attachment points for the hilts of her lightsabers, which I'll demonstrate. Had a little bit of an issue with it staying on. You gotta really make sure it gets in there good. But again, you know, with some play, it is probably going to come off. So it's something that you'd want to make sure that if you give it to your um, child or that they're able to keep up with it. Because without it, it kind of takes away some of her functionality. Um, she has a lot of articulation. Her legs articulate um, single jointed, but they do articulate there. And then they also move at her um, waist or hip line here. Her coat or uh, this skirt that she's wearing, it does snap here in the back. Like I said, this is these pants here are soft goods. They do have the same type of pattern that they have in the Clone Wars series. More often than not, this is the outfit that we see her wear in the series, so I'm glad that this is what they went with. Uh, she has all of the facial markings that she has in this uh, Clone Wars series. Her hands are really articulated. They actually turn 360 degrees. Now, I did have this one here when I was trying to pose her with her lightsaber for pictures. It did pop off here at this elbow joint. So, it, you know, they do come off. She has the, uh, like all the, the Forces of Destiny figures, they all have some kind of little gimmick, which usually whenever you squeeze their legs, they either have some blaster firing action or lightsaber swinging action. To me, it's more of a gimmick because it doesn't really do much. It just kind of moves her a little. So, make of that what you will. Uh, lightsabers. I've looked at several pictures of her and it seems that she carries the smaller one in her uh, right hand so if you want to pose her correctly you have to insert them in backwards since her fighting style is that they always start out that way of course that's one of the things that makes Ahsoka unique in the line of saber wielders and that's one reason I like her character it's because she's she has a different fighting style overall She's very fast and very agile and uses that to her advantage and that's one reason why she's able to use two sabers in her fighting instead of just one. So they're green, they show up good when they hit the light. They're, um, they're not solid, they are flexible so they can bend a little but they'll bend back into shape pretty easily. So if we take them out to We'll go ahead and remove the blades. I'll see if I can get her to stand up here for a moment while I do that. And while I'm thinking of it, I will, um, with her arms, uh, I know with Sabine, um, her arms, they did move uh, to do the blaster action. Hers also do, but unlike Sabine, you cannot manually pose her arms. So pretty much this is what you're, you're stuck with as far as posing um, and holding her sabers. This, you know, joint, it bends back and forth, but her arms, the only way to get them to move any more than that little tiny bit is just by that, and then all they really do is just flex up. Not a huge deal because these aren't intended to be, you know, anything high-end or something like that. These, these, um, you know, are ultimately just um, kids' toys that, you know, can look good when displayed if you like the character. So far, I think uh, her and uh, Sabine are probably my favorites. And I hear that they're coming out with several more. So, thought the line might be dead because a lot I've seen a lot of these on clearance when they first came out of all uh, the original Sabine and um, Jen Arso, and then Ray, of course, um, and Princess Leia. But I've seen that they have more planned, and there's new ones out. So it seems like it's still going got her lightsabers here uh, the bolt or the blade it just snaps out and you can see there it just go it'll easily go back in there these hilts they're not really detailed 
which I don't really expect them to be. And they are actually, they're made of some type of rubber-like TPU material, so they're very flexible. But if you'll notice, they have this little tiny hook on them. And they fit right into her belt nicely. Wasn't it, this isn't listed as a feature um, on the box or in any instructions, but I was looking at the belt and noticed the, the little slots there, and then I seen the mark on the hilt for the saber, so I figured it must be intended to go there. So I pulled on the blade a little, but not too much, and it snapped free, and then realized that that this is how they're meant to be if you if you want to display them as, as such. So there you see. Put her back here so you can see the entire figure with the two sabers hanging there. So that's her. Um, I think it's you know a nice figure. She seems to be pretty popular. Um, she was in stock when I bought her on the Hasbro toy shop. I think she still is. Um, but if you look on like uh, um, Amazon, it's only third-party sellers, and they're quite expensive. Um, eBay has them, but they're more expensive than the retail I paid. So I think it's going over pretty well because she is a popular character in Star Wars. And that's why I wanted her to be the first of that review. But I've also got the Padme coming um, tomorrow, and then I'll be getting a few others after that. So if you like these types of videos, if there's any parents out there who might um, be interested in things oriented to kids, um, let me know because, like I said, I have four of them myself, so I understand, you know, um, if you're wanting to get them into Star Wars at a young age and to enjoy it as much as you do, then this is a pretty good place to start. Um, I know they make, like, Galactic uh, Heroes from Play School. I've got a few of those myself. So some of those are actually decent little toys to display, so um, I'd be happy to do started reviewing those as well in addition to the other things that I uh, do. So that's um, her review. Um, coming up next, uh, like I said, I have the Padme Pilot coming. Um, I have the Elite Series Hot Wheels Millennium Falcon coming that I'm going to do pictures and a review on. And then if I reach over here, I've got this uh, Lego set, the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. Just got to put that together. And then I'll probably do a double review along with this, which is Moloch's speeder. I really liked it in the movie, and they don't make any other model of it other than Lego. You can always count on Lego to make models of just about everything. So that one's a 464 piece. So it's going to take me a little longer to put it together, but I do want to do a review on both of those. And also, uh, before I conclude, I want to thank everyone for helping me get to 100 subscribers. Um, I've been doing this channel for around two months, and um, I've really been enjoying it. And so I hope I can keep on growing the channel and eventually get to a point uh, where I can hopefully fund some of these reviews um, to do, be able to do more um, in a more timely fashion even. So I appreciate all that. If you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up if you would. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate that. And I do want to mention also I will be doing a giveaway at some point. Um, I have uh, the Funko Mud Trooper figure. I got an extra of whenever they were available from uh, the Funko shop. So I'm going to be giving away one of those um, when I hit a subscriber mark. It's not going to be too far away from where I am now. But I've just got to get those details together and then I'll make a video letting you know. But I wanted to give something back to, or, you know, give somebody uh, who's helped me along. I wanted to give something back to, to one of you uh, in the form of a giveaway. So I do have that planned. So uh, again, appreciate everybody. I hope everyone has a great week coming up and may the force be with you.